We have Magnet Warriors, Dragon Maids, Heroes, and Salamangrate, all of which are bound together by something very, very interesting this week. One big 30% of you guys have not smashed the 11 crap out of the and smash it so we can climb up the 100k ladder here. Oh boy, Dragon Maids, but with beasted cards. Oh. The format has evolved so hard in the OCG due to, you know, just Tier Element Ishizu being such a crazy drawing force here that the OCG had to evolve. And in terms of their evolution, now some of the rogue decks are back, but with heavy interaction points here. Good news is Lubelion, you know, most of these guys, dragons, which means uh, change over into your Omni Negate for pretty free, actually, pretty good. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, one copy of Beasted Druid Worm, triple copies of Magnumut, two copies of Saranir. We have triple copies of Chamber Dragomaid, one copy of Lapor, triple copies of Effect Failure, we have triple copies of La Fenrir, triple copies of Maxi, we have triple copies of Good Old Parlor, triple copies of Lubelion, and then we have one changeover, one copy of Hospitality, two copies of Pot of Prosperity, one rebranded, we have one copy of Branded Beast, triple copies of Tidying, and of course, triple copies of Infinite and Permanence here. Then in the extra deck, we have one good old Striker Dragon. Hey, it's still free Link 1 to be able to capitalize with. We have one Unicorn, triple copies of Heavenly Spheres, one to Hark, one Codebreaker Virus Swordsman, one copy of Asa, one Axis Code, the one copy of Volo, the Doom Originator Vassal Dragon. We have one Atom, that's actually kind of cool. Then we have two House and two Shio. Then side deck here we have trip or two Druid Worms and one more copy of Sauron here, so you'll be able to fully extend in your package. We have triple copies of the Big Ball, one Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, triple DDV, and triple copies of Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up your take for OCG Dragon Maid. Next up is Magnet Warriors. So we are playing the Earth Fairy stuff in here. Of course, we're doing Adam Emancipator combo in here as well, because you know, all of these guys are rock. Like, why would you not want to be able to take advantage of that? You know, that's the best thing about these, these sorts of decks where you get like this extra synergy built in. It just works out. And of course, the holy mother of beasted packages down here. This is where we keep our meta cards in our side deck. So we have triple copies of Adam Emancipator Researcher, one copy of Seeker. We have one Alpha, the Electromagnetic Warrior, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have one copy of Berserkion. Then we have triple copies of Beta, one good old Block Dragon. I wish we could play this. We have one Delta, triple copies of Epsilon, two copies of Gamma, one Gigantus, triple copies of good old Kawakimaro Guardian. One Kawaki Mero Supplier, triple copies of Maxi, and then we have one Nibiru, one Revival Golem, one Rock Band Xeno Guitar, and then we have triple copies of Little Duck, triple copies of the Venusolith, the Fairy of Forest, and then we have the triple copies of Flourishing Hills. Then two good old Call by the Grave, one Cross Out Designator, one Foolish Burial, and one Magnet Induction. Down here in the extract, we have the one Unroll Goddess, the one Saruja, one Unicorn with one Cerberus, one IP, the one Cherubini with one Apo, one Axis Code, one Baguski, one Gallant Granite with one Ashura King, one Abistolar, one Naturia Beast, one Baron, and one copy of Dragite. And then, of course, in full side deck glory, we have Triple Analyzer, triple copies of Druid Worm, triple copies of Magnumut, triple copies of La Fenrir, then we have one Kumamungus, one Dark Ruler, and one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster here, wrapping up your very, very interesting take for an Emancipator. Now, I, 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 I wasn't lying to you guys when I said pretty much everything this week all had some sort of tie-in to Beasted. Because for whatever reason, you know, it, this has just become like the best go-to engine to counteract the metagame. So, ah, uh, you know who else is really, ah, uh, uh, there he is. Good old Dark Law. This card is still a pain in the butt and a lot of players still have an issue playing it. Also, shout out to Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. 
such a good card. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. One copy of Druid Worm. Triple copies of good old Magnemut. Then we have one Denier. Two copies of Malicious. One Plasma. One Honest Neos with one Liquid Soldier. Two copies of Shadow Mist. Two Stratos with one Ghost Ogre. Triple Maxi with one Lubellion. Two Faris with one Increase. Triple Vion with triple Hero Lives. Two Cold by the Grave. One Cross of Destiny. One D Force. One Fusion Destiny. Triple Mass Change. One Miracle. Two Poly. One Rota. One Talents. And one Break the Destiny. Then we have one copy of Wonder Driver. Or Wonder, yeah. We have one Cross Crusader. Glad to see it's finally at one. Uh, for these lists, we have one Dehark, one Baguski, one Beatrice, one Wake Up Your Elemental Hero, two Dark Law, one copy of Blast, one copy of Shining, one Sunrise, one Ascarida, one Absolute Zero, one copy of Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, and one Dangerous Lad. Side deck here, we have one Ghost Ogre, one Arby's Feather Duster, triple Regeki, two Super Polys, two Evenly Matched, one Red Reboot, triple copies of Solemn Judgment, and two copies of Solemn Warning here. Wrapping up. Wow. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say about this, man. You're, we're playing hero cards with our beasted cards now. Just pick your pick your engine, put in your staples. Next up here is oh, no, they're back. We we're playing a Salaman Great now. I'm telling you guys, I'm playing a Salaman Great here deck. All right, I, I'm not playing. I'm not playing these beasted cards because I have to or anything, Babaka. It's it's like. It's like I have to play these cards in order to counteract how bad the format is. Oh, oh, yeah. I told you, it, it's a very real thing. So we have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy of Spring. Triple copies of Druid Worm. Triple copies of Magnamut. Triple copies of Saranir. One Dot Scraper. Triple copies of Effect Failure. Triple copies of Lady Debug with triple copies of Maxi. Then we have one Falco, one Foxy, one Gazelle. Triple copies of Jack Jaguar, one Spinny. We have triple copies of Beasted Lubellion, one Rebranded. Triple copies of Salaman Great Circle, one Sanctuary. One copy of the Branded Beast, one Rage, and one Rourke. Do keep in mind, no desires. You don't have to worry about, like, toggling for, like, that crazy or insane value. It's, it's all fine. All right, extra deck here. We have one Transcode Talker, one Splash Mage, triple copies of Sunlight Wolf, two copies of Heat Leo, triple copies of Balanix, one Lingaribo, one Hita, one Heat Soul, one Axis Code Talker, and we have one good old Mirage Dalio. Side deck here, we have two Alpha, the Master of Beast, one Pankertops, triple Ghost Ogies, one Nibiru, one Harpy's Feather Duster, triple MST, triple copies of Infinite Permanence, and one copy of Red Reboot here. Wrapping up, you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, Another very, very interesting take for what the Beasted cards can do for you. I mean, it's four decks now that you've seen with some sort of interaction with this, and people are looking at this going, hmm, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, oh, about more Beasted cards, guys. This time we'll be looking at Black Wings, but with Beasted cards, because staples man I, I definitely assure you that the OCG everything is fine in the OCG they don't need to play these for for all good reasons man right all right everything's okay we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring two copies of Chinook the Snow Strike one copy of Gale we have one Harmaton the Dust one Orochi the Squall triple copies of Shamal triple copies of Samoon we have triple copies of Surthi triple copies of Vada Two copies of Zephyrus, triple copies of Maxi, two Black Feather Whirlwind, triple copies of Black Whirlwind, two copies of Called by the Grave, one Cross of Desnir, two Prosperities, two Twin Shadows, and triple copies of Infinite Permanence. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Unicorn with one Dahark, one Axis Code, one Hot Red Dragon Retreat Abyss, one Black Wing Former Master, one Silver Wind, one Nathong, two copies of Boreas, two copies of Black Wing Dragon, two copies of Black Wing Assault, one Baron, and one copy of Raikiri. Side deck here. Triple Druid Worm. Oh, who would have guessed? Triple Magnemut. Who would have guessed? Triple copies of Ghost Ogre. Triple Raigeki. And triple copies of Solemn Judgment. Wrapping up a very, 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 very beasted OCG Thursday. This time, I hope you guys are ready for Darkwing Blast because, whoo-wee, 
So that's gonna have some real value out here. So what do you guys think? Please so comment down below. Tell me what you think. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button. I'll see you in the beautiful face of back later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.